first one is called So Much for a Happy New Year. Um, it, I wrote it on New Year's Eve actually, and um, it's pretty much like a spoken word slash rap slash testimony. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much a lot went down on, uh, on New Year's Eve. Um, I look. I get home at night, not only to see that the people I love are becoming drunkies, but I also see that Satan is tempting me to drink. But I will not give in. So much for a happy new year. F this and F that is all I hear from these drunken people who I call my peers. Start arguing they do because of the alcohol inside, because the emotions they have, they began to collide. And then I leave thinking and hoping it will stop because all these emotions they had they began to pop like a balloon with no air their heads are empty because the alcohol killed their brain cells but yet God's word still hasn't left me so much for a happy new year and my cousin was drinking and I tried to make him see that he shouldn't drive home even a little tipsy but the guy was being stupid, being stubborn, being dumb thinking he was fine while he was acting all dumb and I prayed for him I hope he got home safely because to be honest he means the world to me just like my own family whom I love so dearly but I finally told them about God and they now know I see him clearly but still some of my family continue to drink so much for a happy new year but it's funny how God works, because my cousin, for a little bit, chose to stay, and all glory goes to God, if I may say, but still, some of my family continue to drink so much for a happy new year. And as I sat and cried on my mom's bed, I remember the verses that Kuya John had said, Romans 5, 3, and 4 state that not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that sufferings produces Perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is when I began to cope with what I was going through, because I know that my God is true, and He is willing to get me through whatever I get myself into. And for that, Lord, I want to thank you. And because I know you're always around, and to help me out, you will overstep your bound, reach just to save me from myself and the harm that I can do. And for that, Lord, I personally want to thank you, you, my God have made this a happy new year for me. Uh, that's the end of that. <laughs> this next one, I, uh, I wrote it after all of this. And then uh, I titled it Our God. All of our God. Um, um, Pretty much what I was thinking is like God was putting me through everything and I was suffering. I didn't know what to do. It's like I was I was questioning him. And I began to think, you know, what is our God like? So here it goes. <clears throat> our God is the greatest. Our God is the strongest. He cares for anyone with his lovingness. Put your faith in him and start to believe that it is him who we fall for and Satan who we leave. Our God loves. And our God provides, but our God won't love if we won't wear the gloves, but that's a big lie, because our God forgives. No matter what we do, our God is where we live. Praise God.